Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Star Revenge 2, Night of Doom. Last time, we took on uh, two red coin stars and got the wing cap switch. In this episode, we're going to finish up the slide level now that we have that good old handy wing cap switch. So, the only star we have left is red coins. You might be wondering, oh well, why do you need the wing cap for red coins? It's just red coins. Well, you'll see pretty shortly. There's one red coin that we can't exactly well you can technically you can get it without the wing cap but that's also like saying you can become a celebrity you know like yeah you can do it but you know mostly just in fantasies okay good good invisible wall so there wasn't a video yesterday uh, why was that? Uh, I was too busy playing Final Fantasy on my Wii Virtual Console, and then I was too busy playing Final Fantasy on my PSP emulator. So, uh, yeah, don't judge me. Or, or do, because, you know, I sh there should have been a video yesterday, simply, but, you know, this wasn't necessarily hard, and I had decided what I was going to do in this episode, and we will be visiting a new course in this episode, so I'm getting excited for that once we get past these boring red coins. That red coin's in a kind of annoying spot, cause like you can't just jump down and slide. You gotta do your red coin homework. It's pretty sucky, but you know, it happens. Okay. So I figure while we're waiting, I may as well talk about something that I completely forgot about. I've wanted to read all the dialogue, but my muscle memory is just whenever I encounter a King Bomb to not read his dialogue, cause it's pretty much never interesting. Um, but I didn't really talk about the King Bob Bomb dialogue in this game. It's not too interesting. He basically just says that he was going to put a lot of sand. Like, he wanted to make sand to make sand castles, but he actually made quicksand. It's alluded to... I think it's only alluded to in the, in the 2.0 remake. Because the original Star Revenge has some interesting lore. So first he re so he released the original in 2002, I believe. Then he remade it. Then he made Night of Doom, which is based on the first remake. Then he remade the original again, and that's the one I played. Uh, yeah, so it's definitely been through some shit. Uh, I'm dead. Or not. Okay. Yeah. So, I bonk- you're- you wanna get hit twice there by that lava so you can get a nice, delicious bounce. Cause, uh, lava boosting kinda works weird with momentum. If you lava boost, you kind of lose all your momentum and then you start fresh from the lava boost. However, if you chain together lava boosts, you can get momentum from the first lava bounce and then do another lava bounce, which works well when you have full health. It works well when you're not gonna die, generally. You know? Holy shit, that was the wrong time to hit R. I gotta stop accidentally pressing that R button. Cause that's like super easy to press cause my finger is always hovering over it. So yeah, I don't make that mistake too often, but sometimes I actually hit the R button when I want to hit the Z button, or the, because I'm playing on a Switch Pro controller, so that's like, that would be the Z button in the GameCube controller. It's just R, you know, they have like ZR and ZL, it would just be R, that's the button I have to crouch. So this little lava puddle, I don't know why the lava's yellow, I guess you could argue it's spark juice, what the hell Mario, you turned around. I don't know, maybe it's Mustard. One YouTuber, I can never remember his name. Uh, he was really cool, he like quit YouTube. He played a lot of hard stuff, like he was playing Night of Doom with State or something. You know, but he doesn't play it anymore. You know. Uh, I forgot what he was, but I think in one of his videos he called that Mustard or something. Cause like he was, he, he hated this game. Well not really hated, like he obviously played it with save states though, but he he kept on talking about like the bad game design in this game, which is a fair criticism because this game is not very well made, uh, and that was like most of the series, he just talked about how shitty of a game it was, which you know, fair enough, because this game is not a good game, but I like it, because it's, it's a, it's a fun, it's a fun challenge for me, but I can see why a lot of people, you know, don't like it, or would much rather play SM74E, which, maybe I'll play, 
But if I play it, I probably won't let's play it because I don't think it's a very interesting game. Well, like, it's kind of cool, but I feel like it's a bit too, like, kind of basic and also kind of annoying in some regards. You know, I think this game is just kind of, it pops out more. Like, it's a more interesting game to play or just to look at because, like, SM74E, a lot of it's, like, bad game design stuff. It's not, like, actually, like, appalling like this game. It's more just like, wow, he really did that. As opposed to, why the fuck would he make that like that? You know what I mean? Like, uh, the sixth stage in SM74E has one part where you have to do some really dumb shit. You know? You have to, like, do, like, some super precise jumps, and, you know, it's a really dumb star. It's, you know, it's, it's just bad, you know? It's just, it's not good. It's a, it's a not good. I don't think that I, something that I don't really understand about SM74E. For some reason, he like reversed everything. Like every level's like backwards in that game, from the original. Like what would be on the left in the original is now on the right in SM74E. I don't get that. that doesn't really make much sense to me. It's kind of like how in you know Twilight Princess they reversed the whole game so a Link could be right-handed on the Wii port. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck happened there? Jeez. Yeah, that, that red coin is by far the hardest one. You need so much to just happen correctly for you to get that one. Like, that one is basically just, like, you have to beg that the game doesn't troll you hardcore to get that one. I gotta say, I'm honestly impressed that my computer can run this game, honestly. <laughs> like, sometimes it's a little shaky, but... It runs pretty fucking well, which was not expected for me. I was expecting this game to run like poo poo. You know? But no, it runs pretty fucking well. Because it's like, it's a 3D game. And my computer can sometimes struggle to run 2D games. But I guess like some 2D games- oh god, the sun's coming. Oh no, it's the sun Sunmageddon. Alright, it doesn't look too bad on the recording yet. But when it does look super bad, I'll, you know, take note of it and I'll cover myself in- my new blanket! I forgot. I got a new blanket. I never told you guys about that. My parents had always hated my Mario one because it was like small and had holes and shit. So they got me a new one. It's more manly. You dickhead! How did you fucking go on your tum tum? How did he go on his tum tum? I was doing everything right and then all of a sudden I hit the corner in the perfect way so I got fucked. Like, bruh. Bruh. Sometimes this game, man. This game just does not make sense sometimes. Like, why would he put a red coin all the way up here? There's no challenge in this red coin. You just have to fucking kick back for like eight seconds. Which, you know, adds up because, you know, you don't really die to that. So pretty much most of your attempts, slash all of them, because you're probably going to do red coins last, are going to end up getting far because, you know, you've already done the slide before so you know how it works. You know, like, which pieces of geometry you can't hit because then you start sliding the wrong way. You know, to correct yourself on the slide. Because if you just jump there, you're gonna die. You actually have to, like, correct yourself. Mario was super janky on slides. Like, a lot of crazy slides. Like, you have to really... It's more of a... It's not really a battle to get down the slide. It's more of a battle to keep Mario off his stomach. Which is the strongest fight of all. Uh, how am I gonna do this? Alright, I got an idea. There we go. Uh, can I, like, position myself better? I can't fall down. Okay, there we go. No. I don't like that. Okay, there we go. Made that work perfectly. I was definitely not anticipating jumping like that, by the way. So that was pretty much all luck. Uh, correct yourself a little more, buddy. I'm not jumping like this, bro. There we go. There we go. Alright. Okay. There we go. Alright. So we have seven red coins. You might be wondering at the last one as well. I pointed out this box here. So, it turns out that you can actually get this without taking damage. And I'm gonna try to do that. So, you go to the ledge grab. Go like this. Okay, okay, pressure's on, because now if I don't get this damage list, I will die. I should have just gone for the damage strat. But, uh, 
You know, we... We don't always make the smartest decisions. Fuck! <sighs> okay. You know what? Uh, yeah. That was weird, because in practice, I never fucked up the damage list right. So I'm gonna give this one more attempt, and if I don't make it, well, we're cutting. Because this is not interesting. Like, you, you've seen this slide so many fucking times. You've gotten- well, this slide was in the first episode. We're on episode, like, I think we're on eight. Yeah, we're on eight. And you're still on the slide. So, you know, I don't think this is the most fun thing. Like, it's- like, do you really want to see the same level 80 times? Like, uh, like, course two. That was a- that was a doozy where we're there for four episodes. We've been on this slide for, like, eight episodes. Or at least it's always been a thing that, like- you know, it's always been like a thing that we have to watch out for. We actually haven't done it in all eight of those episodes. But like, come on, let's just finish this slide. You know, let's end this chapter of Night of Doom. Cause like, once you're done with the slide, it's like, all right, now we actually have hard shit to do. It's no longer like, all right, baby bitch game, let's go. This is by no means a baby bitch game. Fuck! Alright, you know what? We're just cutting because I should have had it at that attempt and I didn't. Okay. Alright, so instead of doing cool fucking no damage strats, I guess I'll just do the baby take a hit strat. I didn't get the cap anyways! Huh? Come on, the strat always worked in practice. I didn't practice it recently, but the strat always worked. Come on. What? It always works! You're supposed to grab the ledge, Mario! What the fuck is wrong with you, you fucking bitch? <laughs> this is the fucking curse of this game, dude. You practice something for fucking a couple minutes, and then you fucking go into the actual thing, and all of a sudden, it never works. Like, you're supposed to fucking grab the ledge and get the wing cap. You're not supposed to fucking suck a fucking fat cock and die. Fucking poor Mario, you piece of poop. <laughs> that made me so angry because like this game is cursed. I'm just, I swear, dude. This game has like some fucking voodoo magic attached to it. Like this was supposed to take a couple minutes of the episode. It was not supposed to take 15. It was definitely supposed to be over fast. Like, come on, man. I know for a fact I can do this, it's like, this isn't even that hard of a star. Like, yeah, it's the hardest star here, but it's, like, not even that bad. Especially once you figure out how to consistently do this part, which I sort of have. It's like, what the hell, dude? It's like, this, this game, man. I'm telling you, this game is fucking cursed. Hardcore cursed. Uh... No! Why are you on your fucking tummy? Fuck! You, dude, I didn't even do anything for you to get in that state. Ugh. Come on, shred. Okay, I think my problem. Well, my problem is either I'm getting too close to the ledge or I'm getting too far away from the ledge. So let's try like that distance. That that should be perfect distance. I still did not get the cap. What the fuck? This strat worked perfect. What happened? Like you're supposed to. Thank you, Jesus! Like, why did that take so long to work like that? Okay, here we go. Great. So there's a red coin down here, but it's super hard to get. So first off, if you're gonna get it without the swing cap, you need full health, which is already a problem. But secondly, you also need a super precise uh, lava bounces to get back on the slide, and then you actually need to like go down on the slide. So yeah, all right, there we go. And with that, the slide saga is over. We can finally leave the slide. All right, a freaking secret star. Let's go. Save over that save state slot. And let So now I'm going to jump down here. So this snow is an actual snow. You still take damage from it. Oh man. I got like a comment from this really cool guy. And he talked about the snow thing. That got me thinking about it again. Alright, so let's go to this level. So normally you take a shell here, but we don't do that. And oh god, this camera's atrocious. Welcome to this new hard world. Enjoy your stay here, food pain. So press one of the buttons and read the sign. There is no sign! There's one at the end, but like, that's just to tell you how much you wasted your time, basically. Well, sorta, of, because like, this level's called Bowser's Old Domain, but it's not the Bowser level. 
So yeah, it's a little weird, but basically this is uh, Bowser's old domain, yeah. So this is where the Bowser level would be normally, but it's not this anymore. Said it's the new Sky Palace, alright, so yeah, this is an interesting stage. So Mario Cam, while in Poison, does not work properly for some reason. I don't know why it doesn't, it just doesn't. So you have to do some more creative strats, and also I need this camera to line up. If the camera could ever stop doing that dumb shit, like, hello? I kind of need you to line up for this. It wasn't doing this in practice. This game. I'm telling you, man, this game is cursed. There we go. Okay. Alright. And boom. Yeah, so this star is the easiest one here, probably. It's really simple. You just get up here. Watch out for this Chukya. And I'm gonna kill this Chukya because I do not have enough health for this. If you're really fast, you can get here with enough health, but I don't have enough health. And now you need to wall jump up here. So, if you die from poison gas and then grab a star, you'll still be counted as dead, so you won't get the star. So, gotta be kind of fast there. Boom. So that's a free star, right there. I think that was the first try. Bowser's old domain clear. And we get a key, so this is- so that is technically a Bowser level, but it's not actually a Bowser level. So, yeah. You know, so. There is a pipe that in theory would take you to Bowser 1, but it's kind of blocked. So, we can't actually go to Bowser 1. Alright. Alright. So, now we're gonna get the actual star, I wanna get it here. Which is considerably harder. See, I have to start every single attempt by pressing R and C down. Because if I if you don't, the camera's a top-down perspective. Which doesn't sound like the worst thing in the world, but it's also super fast to spin around. And Like, I'm pretty sure, like, if you had to look at it all day, you would probably throw up. Like, it's so gross. Alright, so... Fuck, dude. Uh, I should have killed that Sniffit. It wouldn't have really cost anything. I can get over there. There we go. Okay. What if I first try this? Well, not really first try, but like, get it super fast after struggling on it with practice. That'd be cool. Because the star was giving me some issues in practice. Alright, here we go. Anyway, jump down here. Fuck! I wasn't on the over the box, so yeah, I almost just got it. I almost was at the area where the star would be, but I made a little mistake, made a little oopsie. I think I could actually get red coins here if I wanted, but I didn't practice it, so I'm not really willing to make that risk. Plus, after these super long episodes, I like doing little short episodes, and hopefully, if I, you know, don't choke massive, massive, massive quicksand, because. You know, I can't go around saying the P word too much. You know. If I don't suck on massive quicksand, hopefully I can, you know, make this a nice little, maybe 25 minute episode. See, like, wouldn't that be so sweet and short? Alright, I let you grab an extra time there. Hopefully this doesn't, I do this fast. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm actually gonna kill this guy. Never mind! So yeah, these sniffets, like I said, sniffets are kind of annoying. So, of course, they have to be in all the worst places. And also, their coins are RNG, which means that there's also a level of randomness to this level. If you get bad luck with the sniffets, it's possible that you can just miss out on some pretty important health. Like, for there, the two coins are right on top of each other. They were easy to get, even though they were going to fall in the quicksand. But, you know, they were right on top of each other, so I could just do a single jump and grab them both. But in other situations, you might not be so lucky. So right there, that was perfect RNG. The snippet was in a good spot, and the coins were in good spots. Yeah, I get that red coin because it's faster, or safer, than, you know, doing whatever you'd have to do otherwise. Because, like, you would have to kill that snippet, and that's, that's dangerous. Oh, fuck. Yeah, this level can be really tricky. This is- you're definitely starting to see some of the more cruel stages in the game now. 
you know, which is funny because technically this level is okay. Nice, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm so dead there. So that's an example of this level being kind of luck based right there. I didn't get any coins from those two snippets and as such my time wasted to kill them yielded no results which caused a situation where even if I had lived through that it would have been so difficult to you know get past everything without running out of health because I would have to kill snippets that I don't normally kill, get HP I don't normally get, and also have to do it in a time and that I wouldn't normally be able to reach. You know it would just be so infeasible you know, without any practice, that I couldn't do it. There you go. Shit. Alright, I'm gonna have to kill the snippet. And I'm dead anyways. Uh, okay. Hey, um, I'm so dead. If I got that extra coin, I probably would've still been dead. Yeah, see? This level's pretty fucking brutal. Yeah. Thin platforms, bad camera. Some draining health. RNG. It's got it all, man. At least there's only eight red coins. And they're all... They're not too spread out. Like, you know... they're I think they're all in, like, one general part, which is this part. And some of them are literally on the way. Like, you know, that red coin that I got. There's one there... There's, like, a tower that you climb near the end of the poison section. Because there is eventually a part where you escape this poison. That you literally just grab a red coin. And I, I don't... I don't think you can actually dodge the red coin. So, this is, in some regards, one of the cruelest levels, but in others, one of the nicest levels in the game. So, yeah. Right. I should mention that those boxes uh, are actually kind of nice. Instead of dropping 10 brutal RNG coins, they drop 5 coins. So, you're kind of trading off uh, a more consistent method of health for less health. Which, in my opinion, is a fair trade. Alright, gotta zoom in the camera. I fucking fell off the stage! So, I guess zooming in the camera did nothing. How? <laughs> Ugh, it happens, you know. It's easy to make a mistake when you literally cannot see. It's safer to jump to where the red coin is, but then, like, you waste more time, and you have to hit that box, because that box has, uh, a blue coin in it. Yeah. Most of these boxes just have blue coins in them. Some of them have stars in them, though, so... You know. And all the ones with stars are just in the worst places. There's also secret spots here, I believe. So, you know, gotta watch out for those. But they're all in one- they're all in, like, a centralized area. Sometimes this game does this, where, you know, everything's in a nice centralized area. An example is the first Bowser level. Uh, all the red coins are in one area. So, they're kinda all easier to get in general. But like, whenever things are in a centralized area, it's always easier in this game, because it's usually not that bad of an area, it's like, it's kind of a whatever thing, you know. But when they're spread out throughout the stage, that's when they can get really hard. Fuck you, dude, I didn't even slow ledge grab. I... Oh my god! So, there's a difference in, there's two kinds of ledge grabs. There's, uh, well, ledge grabbing and then climbing up. I just did not just make that amateur mistake. That mistake makes me so angry because I should not be making it. It's one of the easiest mistakes to make, but it's also like one of the easiest to avoid. Like once you know how to fucking long jump, you should not be making that mistake. It's literally just pressing one button before the other. But sometimes you do it in the wrong order. So right there, if I press A, I do a faster ledge grab. And since you are not immune to anything when you ledge grab, Please, RNG. Thank you. I'm dead. Anyways. Holy shit, dude. Saves in not speedrunning. Dude. That was so clutch right there. Okay, there we go. Give me my coins. Go really far this time. Thank you. Hello? Okay. So now I actually gotta grab this box, which can be difficult. Here we go. Yes! Alright, that should grab the star. Boom! Alright! And I think we're gonna end off that with this video like that. 25 coins, 25 stars, it's pretty ironic. Bowser's old domain clear, kinda. So, in the next episode of Star Revenge 2, Night of Doom, 
I think it's due time that we head back to uh, course three because you know we kind of took a break from it we kind of had a bit of an informal greeting to the stage so I think it's I think it's about time that we uh, we head back over there so in the next episode of Starvenge 2 Night of Doom we're going to continue back to stage three so with a little save state here oh that's fast forward I will see you guys then